Hi, I want to say a big thank you for joining me on this tutorial. What's up? Hope you're doing alright. Today, we're going to be pretty short and straightforward. I want to show you how to create APK in Flutterflow. So APK means Android package. So it's just a, par and as a, a package that you can create from Flutterflow, put it in on, get it to your Android phone, and then you can run your application without putting it on Play Store or whatsoever. This can be very valuable if you're testing your application as you build. This is very valuable if you want to test your application on a local device. This is also very valuable if you want to show your applications across Teams. So it works pretty well and trust me, it's going to be a straightforward tutorial. If you're new on this channel, feel free to click on the subscription button below and subscribe so you get notification whenever I launch a new video. Let's get started. So Flutterflow gives you the ability to generate an APK file from any app that you've created before. So one thing about creating your APK file is that you have to click into your project before you can get those files. So I have a couple of um, I have a couple of applications here. Um, I'm gonna click on um, Rent a Minute right here. Hopefully you're not gonna see any error. So there's no error on this one, uh, as you can see. There's no error on this one. It's it's a very new project that I'm just getting started with. So there must be no error. If there's an error, you won't be able to download the APK file if there's an error with your project. So you're using the new version of, of, of Flutterflow. You would likely see the APK file over here. So this is what it's saying, download APK. Uh, I think before you can get this, you have to subscribe to, to the premium, bash, uh, premium plan. I think that's uh, yeah the pro plan. I think about seventy dollars before you can download the APK file directly. I think so, and also you can also download your code if you want to run it locally, and also you can view your code. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on download APK. So it's gonna take a while. So it's gonna keep loading, keep loading. It's gonna take a while. Probably it's gonna take about two to four minutes for your APK to download to your system. And when it does, you'll be able to send that file to your, to your, send that particular file that's been downloaded to your application, and then you click on install, and then you can execute it. But one thing, if you're an Android user, you would have to go ahead and click on, set up your phone so you can install application from unknown sources. So that's how, that's how um, the Android OS protects your phone, so that every application does not just keep coming to your phone and it installs by itself. But for you to do this, after downloading the APK, you would have to go ahead and click on Install Application from Unknown Sources. You're going to find that from the settings part of your application, or if it's getting, if you if you if you're having a difficult time finding out, you can just go ahead and you know Google it. I'm pretty sure you'll see the right answer for yourself. So now, as you can see, the APK file is ready. So you would have the your app, the name of your app .apk file. So this file, you can go ahead and install it on your Android application, and then you'll be able to run it. But you can't run it on your iPhone because it's not going to work. For your iPhone, you have to you have to you have to move it to your Apple Dev account, your Test Flight account before you can test it on the iPhone. That's the way it works. So iPhone, it's a bit closed and um, Android is a whole lot more open when it comes to installing applications. So that's how brief this tutorial is gonna be. I just thought, as you said, this simple stuff, a lot of persons have been asking, how do I download Flutterflow APK? That's how you do it. Go ahead and give it a try. I'll leave your comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.